Welcome to Haunting with Hex. Welcome to today's show. I'm your host, Mike Slinker. This week, we're headed back to one of my favorite places, and that's Africa. My daughter, Caitlin, and I had made the journey halfway around the world to try out the Hex technology on some new species, and so far, the results have been spectacular. In this episode, we complete the trip, and our list of animals that are affected by the Hex stealth screen gets longer by the day. Warthogs, blue wildebeest, impala, and the ever-elusive zebra are on our list, just to name a few. To make it even more interesting, we're both shooting exclusively archery gear, which means we have to get up close and personal. As always, we'll be pushing the limits of our Hex technology, and you'll see it all right here on Hunting with Hex. Closing the distance, calmer game, better shots, happier memories. It's what we all crave. It's what we all desire. It's what we all dream about. The close range fair chase encounter with wild game is the essence of the hunting experience. Join us as we chronicle the evolution of concealment, testing skill, knowledge, technology, and equipment. Becoming the ultimate close range predator. Oh, the close up experience here on Hunting with Hex. Most hunters travel to South Africa during the summer months. It's the height of the winter over there because they're in the Southern Hemisphere and it's their dry season. With no rain for months on end, the animals are forced to use the water holes regularly and it's a great place to set up ground blinds and ambush the animals as they come into water. I'd already taken a nice wildebeest bull and a good warthog that both came in and totally ignored me sitting outside in the wide open. With several animals on the ground, I decided to sit back and run the camera for Caitlin for the next few days. This particular water hole was covered up in animal tracks, and it wasn't long after we climbed in the blind before we had animals coming in from every direction. Many of these animals were only a few yards away from us, but none of them paid any attention at all. When this herd of blue wildebeest came in, there were a couple boomer bulls in the bunch. Caitlin instantly knew that she wanted to take one home if it presented her with a shot. This bull is only about 10 steps away and he doesn't have a clue we're anywhere in the area. All right, took a shot on a wildebeest. We've given him a little bit of time, so now we're gonna go get on the blood and hopefully find him. These things are extremely skittish, and uh, that arrow hit, this bull ran off, and the rest of them just stood around. And, um, you know, again, you know, we talk about the heck stuff. That's the kind of stuff that you just don't see all the time. Um, usually you would expect everything to blow up and be gone for the rest of the day. And, uh, you know, but we see it all the time and we saw it again. African game is a true test and that's what we're out here trying to do is test the heck stuff. And it's a true test and uh, boy, you, you came away with a great bull kill. Well, after we got Caitlin's wildebeest taken care of, we decided to sit back in the same blind and just see what else might wander by. As luck would have it, we spotted zebra approaching. I had sat with Caitlin with full intentions of letting her do all the shooting that day, but I've been to Africa three other times and zebra was always at the top of my list. Unfortunately, I'd never had the opportunity to take one, and since Caitlin took one on a previous trip, we quickly decided to swap positions in the blind. Caitlin was moving to get behind the camera, and I grabbed my bow and tried to hook up my release and get into shooting position. Needless to say, we were making a lot of noise, and with the big windows wide open in the blind, I'm sure they could see us moving around as well. Many people may not realize, but zebra are one of the most wary of all the animals in Africa. Normally, that much movement would have sent them scrambling. But we had the hex on. As you can see, they just stand quietly while we make the switch. This is actually a dream come true. It's one of the ones that that has, has foiled me so many times and we finally got it done. And again, we're in a big five area. These things are hunted daily by lions, leopards, everything else. And, they, and the, the water holes where they get hunted all the time. So they're super wary. 
And you know, we all had the hacks on. We had probably a hundred animals around up. us. It blew up. And I mean, there's just every place. I tell you, this is actually a dream come true. It's one of the ones that that has has foiled me so many times, and we finally got it done. Hunting with Hacks is brought to you by Game Hide. Hunting wear is all we do. NorthAmericanHuntingCompetition.com. Have you entered yet? Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls and UC Hunting Properties. PSE Archery. Gold Tip, the toughest arrow you'll ever shoot. Ozonics, undetectable, undeniable. Trophy Taker and Spot Hog. And by Hack Stealth Screen, the evolution of concealment. Hi, I'm Riley Elliott, marine biologist. And I'm Forrest Galante, wildlife expert. Now, we want to show you how the Hex technology blocks 95% of your body's electrical signals given off by muscle movement. What we have here is a scientific instrument capable of measuring the electrical magnetic energy leaving the muscle groups of the body. Now, we're going to get Forrest to put his arm over top of a signal sensor. Now, as he does this, you'll see that the needle goes all the way off the scale registering that energy his body's given out. Now when we apply the hex fabric, which is a carbon yarn put into this material that is specifically designed for the human wavelength of energy we go off, you'll see that this needle barely moves. It's basically the same technology that's in the door of your microwave. Which is called the Faraday gauge. As he goes over, the needle barely registers. Being a shark scientist working with animals that specifically pick up electrical energy, to detect prey or predators. I've seen significant reduction in their threat displays or in their um, approach distances, allowing me to get more natural and closer encounters. And for anyone else wearing this suit or this technology, I think we'll have the same effect too. If you order right now and enter the promo code PURSUED, you'll save an instant $30 off your hex suit. The action is non-stop here in Africa, and we'll jump back in the thick of it right after this. Welcome back to Hunting with Hacks. And now, it's time for this week's Hex Close-Up. This week's Hex Close-Up is brought to us by Bobby Torillo from New Mexico. My buddy Simon Boulevant came to New Mexico to hunt with me. And when he showed up, he handed me a Hex suit. And I was somewhat familiar with the Hex suit after seeing it on TV. So I instantly asked him, are these hex suits really legit? And the first words out of his mouth were, every time I wear this hex suit, something crazy happens. So with nothing to lose, I wore the hex suit and lo and behold, we had the craziest experience we've ever had. Bobby and his buddy Simon Boulevant were out hunting bear in New Mexico when they called in a nice bull elk. This is open country and the bull comes into the guys and was in easy archery range. Of course, these guys are after bears. You know, they're getting some good footage and having a nice experience when Bobby notices the bull looking behind it and he sees what he thinks are a couple of coyotes. It turns out to be several wolves that are attracted by the elk calls. As I was focusing on the bull off to the right, I caught some movement right in front of Simon and at the time I thought it was two coyotes and it didn't take me long to realize that it was two wolves and there was a third wolf that was literally about three yards right in front of him and off to my left I caught more movement and it was a fourth wolf that was about 10 yards away and was stalking right up behind him and he got to about four or five yards. And being that my buddy was surrounded by a pack of wolves, I unclipped my holster and made some movements to expose myself. All I can say is the look on Simon's face says it all. And as an avid hunter, we live for amazing experiences like this and this experience has made me a true believer in the hex gear and 
I can truly say that I will be wearing this hex gear from now on. Thanks again to Bobby Torello for bringing us this week's Hex Close Up. Hunters across the country and around the world are raving about the experiences that they're seeing while using their hex suits. You know, science has found that animals, birds, and fish are able to pick up on minor electrical changes in their electrical environment. A lot of the initial study was done on how birds, animals, and fish navigate. It's what really runs the internal compass. They're picking up that minor change in the Earth's electromagnetic field. Well, every living being also creates an electrical field that's very similar. Through heart rate and muscle movement, we're creating electrical fields that are traveling distance. And we now know that that's one of the ways when animals get in close, they know that they're close to another big living being. That's when the other senses go on alert and things get real tough if you're out there in the hunting woods. If you look closely at the fabric, you'll see a highly electrically conductive carbon yarn woven in a specific grid pattern. This electrically conductive carbon yarn is sized and shaped to block the electrical energy that's created by our body. By blocking these electrical fields, you're going to look more like an inanimate object than you ever thought possible. You know, visual camo and scent control is still important, but the HEX technology gives you an advantage that you've never had before. If you haven't experienced the HEX advantage for yourself, don't delay. Get a HEX suit on the way, because it's going to make a difference in your next hunt. If you order right now and enter the promo code PURSUED, you'll save an instant $30 off your HEX suit. As an added bonus, if you order right now with each purchase of a complete HEX suit, you'll receive a certificate worth $250 off on a trip with Great Texas Hunts. There are a lot more close encounters coming up right after this quick word from our sponsors. Welcome back to Hunting with Hex. Mike Slinkard and his daughter Caitlin are in Africa in this episode and have taken several nice trophies so far. They are hunting with their archery equipment and have decided to hunt water holes where many of the animals congregate. Now let's get back to the hunt. The next day we are back in the blind and Caitlin spots a huge male warthog coming in. She's already taken one a couple of days before, but there was something about this old hog that caught her eye and she decided she wanted to try to take it if she could. Well, if you've ever been to Africa before, you know that warthogs just never stand still. They're nervous and fidgety and constantly moving and often bolting off for no reason at all. But with hex technology in use, you see them being much calmer than usual. And it wasn't long before this old hog made the mistake of giving Kate a broadside shot. My word, kiddo. You were racking the hogs up on this trip. This thing is absolute giant. Um, I mean, he's thick. You know, your other one's kind of wore off. This one goes all the way to the point. And uh, just a great pig. By blocking our electrical signal, we're better able to mask our presence. And as a result, the animals are much calmer and they let us get away with a lot more movement and even more noise than we would have been able to otherwise. We'd sat there for several hours when Caitlin spotted this nice Impala ram coming in. She decided to try to take this animal if you gave her a shot. As with everything else, the ram was totally unconcerned when it came in, and it wasn't long before it turned and gave Caitlin that broadside shot she was looking for. You know, most guys you talk to who bow hunt Africa are getting 25 to 30 yard shots out of the blinds. You know, the animals just naturally try to avoid them. They'll brush in the back of the water holes and try to force the animals closer to the blinds and everything else. But with our hex suits on, we didn't have to do that. And we had animals walking around in front of us, oftentimes 10 yards or less. It's stuff like this that you see over and over when you're wearing hacks. Well, I'd like to take a few minutes to discuss the HEX product line. First off is our basic HEX suit. This is the basic suit that's been used by hunters all around the world and had amazing success. It comes shirt, pant, and head cover all together. Very lightweight, very easy to use. You can use it as an underlayer or over. The HEX technology works either way. We tried to design this piece to be used in just about any hunting situation. The pants are cut kind of like sweatpants. 
They do have an elastic top, a drawstring, elastic cuffs on the bottom, and a fly and hip pockets in case you want to wear them as an outer layer. The shirt is basically a long sleeve t-shirt, but it does have thumb holes so it's easy to get on underneath, has surge stitching for added durability, and a nice embroidered hex logo. The head net has a laser cut eye hole, drawstring in the back. It's very simple and very easy to use. New for 2016, we are proud to bring you the new hex base layer. The base layer is a lightweight, semi-thermal product that's made to be worn under your other hunting clothing, but has the hex technology and the hex advantage woven right in. The base layer is three pieces, shirt, pant, and the head cover. The shirt is a quarter zip Henley with a hex logo embroidered. It does have surge stitching, also has thumb holes so it's easy to get on underneath your other clothing. The pants are basic long underwear type pants. They do have surge stitching throughout. Elastic bands on the top, elastic on the bottom. Very easy to use, comfortable to wear under any of your favorite hunting clothing. For those of you out there that's been asking for a little bit heavier hex layer, this is the item for you. Check out the new hex base layer, brand new from Hex for 2016. And finally, we have our hex accessories. Our ball cap made out of the hex material, lightweight, very comfortable, one of the most comfortable caps you'll ever wear. New for 2016 is our hex socks. The socks are a heavyweight, over the calf sock, very durable. They're going to be nice to wear in any kind of hunting situation. And of course, they have the hex technology woven right in. The hex gloves are a lightweight, stretchy material made for any hunting situation and are now available in Mossy Oak Camo. Hex technology is found in dealer stores nationwide. Check out our website for a dealer listing near you. Or you can always order direct from hexllc.com. That's H-E-C-S-L-L-C.com. Or call us direct at 541-575-HEX. That's 541-575-HEX. Four three two seven. You know, we have an operator standing by, but we're very busy. If you get the answering machine, be sure to leave a message and leave your phone number, and we'll be sure to get right back to you and get the Hex suit on the way. Hex technology is changing the way people hunt nationwide and all around the world. Don't delay. Get online or give us a call today and get a Hex suit on the way. It's going to change the way you hunt. If you order right now and enter the promo code PURSUED, you'll save an instant $30 off your Hex suit. As an added bonus, if you order right now with each purchase of a complete hex suit, you'll receive a certificate worth $250 off on a trip with Great Texas Hunts. When we come back, Mike sees something he just can't pass up. Welcome back to Hunting with Hacks. The Slinkard crew is hunting South Africa this week, and both Caitlin and Mike have taken several good animals at close range using their hex suits. But with dozens of huntable species, there is never a dull moment. Well, we picked a new location for a ground blind the evening before where we'd seen some good springbuck, red hartebeest, and kudu, which were species we hadn't yet taken on this trip. We took a little time to get our double bull all set up for the hunt the following day. Unfortunately, the next morning, we arrived and elephants had been there and destroyed our blind. Well, what we have is a problem. <laughs> That's one of the problems about being in Africa. We had our double bull blind set up here. Had a really nice spot, and it's still a really nice spot. The problem is, that's African elephant dung, and as you can see, that's where our blind was. Our blind is now all the way back there. So, um, Unfortunately, we got a change of plans today, um, and this is, uh, I guess, the way Africa is, huh? <laughs> With no other options and possibly still dangerous elephants in the area, we were forced to abandon that location and move to a different blind that had certainly seen better days. With no time to make repairs, we just climbed in and trusted our hex to make it all work out. A little while later, we spotted a truly massive old warthog working his way into the water. Caitlin had already taken two hogs on this trip and she didn't want another one. You know, the more I looked at the size of this whole hog, I knew I just couldn't let him walk. Well, just like before, I had to get up inside the blind, grab my bow, all while Caitlin had to maneuver around behind the camera. This much noise and movement with them that close should have sent that wise old boar running for the thick stuff. But with Hex on, he simply went about his business like nothing was even happening.
this guy, he was there, super close. All those animals super close to us. Again, we're seeing the hex advantage. All that was between us was a piece of cloth and all those wary animals. And when I was able to get out of the chair, move all the way over and uh, get Caitlin behind the camera. So there's tons of movement. Why well, do this thing's 10 yards away. It's actually looking towards us. And uh, was able to get a good shot. I mean, went about 100 yards, but wow. Hex technology is changing the way hunters pursue their game nationwide and around the world. You know, it's scientifically known that animals have the ability to pick up very minor changes in their electrical environment. As hunters, we've all seen this. When a big animal gets in close, it's usually not very long, and he knows that there's something in his environment that he needs to check out. Birds actually see these fields visually. When there's an electrical field associated with movement, they know that they're looking at something that's alive and one of the things that they really need to pay attention to. Inanimate objects such as branches and grass that are blowing on the wind don't have an electrical field. And that's one of the reasons why a turkey or waterfowl can pick up your movement even when there's all kinds of movement going on around it. By blocking these fields, when animals get in close, you're gonna be able to get away with a little more movement and you're gonna be less detectable than you ever have been before. If you haven't seen the HEX technology in action for yourself, go online to HEXLLC.com, click on the dealer page, and you can see the dealer nearest you. Or call us at 541-575-HEX. That's 541-575-4327. We look forward to getting a suit to you and also to hearing your great HEX experiences. Join the tens of thousands of hunters out there who know the HEX advantage. Call us today. We look forward to hearing from you. If you order right now and enter the promo code PURSUED, you'll save an instant $30 off your hex suit. As an added bonus, if you order right now with each purchase of a complete hex suit, you'll receive a certificate worth $250 off on a trip with Great Texas Hunts. Well, we went to Africa to test the effects of hex technology on a variety of the most wary animals on Earth. We pushed the limits just to see how much we could get away with. In the process, I hope that my daughter Caitlin and I could spend some quality time together doing something that we both loved. As it turned out, we hit it out of the park on all counts. If you've not seen the Hex Effect in person for yourself, do yourself a favor. Go online, give us a call. You won't be sorry, I assure you of that. Meanwhile, we'll keep traveling the world and pushing the limits of our Hex technology. And of course, you'll see it all right here on Hunting with Hacks. Closed captioning is provided by Connected to Field, Scout, Plan, Connect. If you have a great Hex encounter that you'd like to share with us, please contact us through our website. If we use it on the air, you'll be entered to win a hunt with Gray Texas Hunts. As an added bonus with each Hex purchase, you'll receive a certificate worth $250 off on a trip with Gray Texas Hunts. Get those pictures and video coming, and you could be the lucky winner of this great hunt. You can find out more on our website at hexllc.com.